Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about prediction intervals. So if we have a series like uh, this series YT and uh, we have data up till this point of the series and we apply our model, we fit our model and forecast uh, based on this part of the model. Now we'll have different futures depending on uh, different variables. The future is not fixed. So future can hold different uh, scenarios for us. So our series may go in this direction, in this green direction, in this red direction or in this uh, blue direction. So we may have uh, various futures for this uh, series. So what we can do is instead of uh, forecasting a particular value of the series, we calculate an interval of values, for example, this purple interval and we say that uh, we are this much confident that uh, our forecast value will be within this uh, boundary. So what we can do is we can calculate prediction interval around uh, our point estimates. And the formula that we use to calculate these prediction intervals is that we use plus minus 1.96 and then this sigma. This will give us a 95% confidence interval this sigma hat it is each step forecast standard deviation that we generally calculate while calculating our forecasting uh, values so our forecast for each period ahead given the information that we have until time t will add plus minus k sigma hat to this value to get a prediction uh, interval for the 80 percent confidence interval we'll use the value of k as 1.28 and for 95% confidence interval will use a value of 1.96. For example, if we are using Google stock prices and our last observed value is this and we are using a naive method, so obviously our forecast for the next period will be this value. So we can go ahead and calculate uh, sigma which in this case is 6.21 and we can calculate the 95% confidence interval as our forecast which is from here plus minus 1.96 because we are calculating 95% confidence interval and remember the value of k for 95% uh, confidence interval is 1.96 and then we have to use this uh, sigma so we can calculate two values for uh, the google stock price to take the one is by subtracting uh, this part from our forecast and one is by adding uh, this part so this will give us a range of values that uh, google stock price uh, can take so based on this we can say that uh, uh, we are 95 percent confident that the google stock price will be within this range calculating this confidence interval in r is pretty easier so see whenever you use any forecasting method for example in this case i'm using naive forecast method and it is giving me 95 percent and 80 percent confidence interval with 95 percent confidence Google stock prices are expected to take uh, any value within these two values. So it is pretty straightforward to plot these values as well on a graph. We are giving a range of values that Google stock prices may take and we are saying that uh, we are 80% or 95% confident that uh, Google stock price will be within this uh, range. So this is how you calculate prediction intervals. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.